The woodshop owner's links to the timber industry and the clearing of the forest have left him with a few souvenirs. This gibbon is badly stressed. So now we're waiting for the guy who owns this gibbon. Hopefully he will give us the opportunity to rescue these animals, but it's no guarantee at all. Chani tries to negotiate with the owner. Although keeping pet gibbons is illegal, Chani is powerless to force him to hand over the animal. Cute young gibbons make appealing pets. But confined in small cages, once they reach adolescence, they begin to experience extreme stress. So I say, for the moment, he don't really want to give us uh, the gibbon. It's very sad because it's very poor condition. It's a female. She will probably die also in a few months if we don't receive her because she's already big. So she's very sensitive of, from stress. And so we just try again. So we have to leave now without the gibbon. Uh, the man say will call me in the next two days, but I'm not very optimistic. Uh, we can do nothing because we are not the police, and for sure the police will not confiscate these animals. And he was very surprised when I tried to explain to him that the gibbon lived 30 years in the wild, and he was like, oh. I was thinking it just live around the five or seven years because they have given before and they always die before seven. In the past, Chani's collaborated with the police and confiscated captive gibbons. But he and the organization suffered alarming repercussions. His houseboat was sunk, the Callaway office vandalized, and he was even attacked by a man with a knife. We did many confiscations in the past, but all the time it's a lot, a lot of trouble for us, and it can be dangerous for us. We can have an attack at the office days or weeks after the confiscation. <laughs> 